Okay, I'm trying this again. So, I got this U-Haul truck on yesterday because I need to um, take all the trash out of my kitchen. Um, and, oh, that, that reminds me, I gotta get some more trash bags. And um, I'm going to um, take all the clothes to the laundry mat and wash them. Um, I only have this U-Haul truck for four days, um, so I take it back on Monday. Um, I don't think I'm working on Monday. I'm going to try to work as many days as possible. Um, I uh, got a call yesterday um, from an a, um, agency that said that they could help me with my rent. Um, so I have an appointment with them on Tuesday. Um, if they can help me, that would be so great. But um, if if they do help me and they say, hey, we can help you for like, we can, we can pay for these two months and then we can pay for another month. That will give me a chance to work. And I mean, work every single day I possibly can and just bang it out so that I can get up enough money to um, to get um, a vehicle, a van. Um, this U-Haul truck that I'm driving is a Ford Transit. It is a large vehicle and um, I can see myself living out of something like this. I would, I couldn't, you can't stand up in it. Um, in the back. Um, now the other ones I could stand, the other one I could stand up in. And even in that, if I can work and make at least five grand, um, just working every, when I say every single day, I mean every single day. Um, and if I can get up that, then I can just go ahead and put a down payment on an RV. Um, the one, the kind that I can drive. Um, so I'm still going to be looking. Um, I'd rather make payments on a RV and uh, go to the campgrounds and um, pay a lot rent than to continually pay um, rent every month because it's not easy. It is, it really isn't. It's not easy at all. Um, I'm not going. I'm not complaining though, because like I said, there are people who are going through a lot worse than I am. You know, there are people who are out on the street and don't have nowhere to go. You know, so um, I don't know. But uh, this size uh, truck here. If I were to purchase one to build it out, this is a nice size. It's easy to drive. And I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at the road because I'm driving. Um, but um, I do have an appointment um, to an agency, to this place where they are supposed to help with my rent. And I have everything that they need. The only thing I need to do is to go on the CARE app and print out um, a um, form. I mean, print out like the, the amount of money that I've, I've made every week. So, uh, hopefully they can help me. Ooh, I'm really tired because I worked last night. There is something else. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use this U-Haul uh, truck today to take out the trash and to um, take all of my clothes to the laundry mat while I'm still up because I worked last night. So I know that when I am done um, with everything, I am going to go to sleep because I am really exhausted, I'm tired. Um, I have to go back to work tomorrow. So I will be driving this U-Haul truck to work tomorrow morning. Uh, Sunday, I don't see anything.
anything up there for Sunday, but if they do have something for Sunday, I'm going to pick up Sunday as well. Uh, Monday, I'm hoping I'm hoping that I can pick up a shift for Monday um, and the rest of next week after Tuesday because Tuesday I'm not going to uh, pick up any shifts. I'm just going to go to the um, to the appointment. So y'all be praying with me. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited about this journey. I also signed up with uh, an, a, a personal trainer. Not a person, well, he's a personal trainer, but he does group workouts. So I was like, I, I'll do the group workouts because it's a lot cheaper. I want to get this 60 pounds off of me. I want to be able to walk up the flight of stairs without getting winded. I want to be able to walk 10 or 20 steps without getting winded as well. So, but I'm just believing God for great things. I am going to put my P.O. box and my um, cash app down below um, so that if anyone wants to send me anything, I can do like a, um, I guess I'll do like an Amazon wish list kind of thing, which I've never done before um, with things that I desire um, and, you know, that could help me too. Um, because I already have my um, portable stove. I just have to get some butane for it. And um, I'm really enjoying driving this, this Ford Transit because it, it gives me hope that I can, you know, one day purchase something, uh, something along the lines of this because uh, once I do purchase the vehicle, because I want to go out of town and work as well. If I can leave and go out of town and work, I can get up the money a lot quicker. A lot quicker. And the reason why I say that is because I can just work and um, go to work and uh, take the money that they give me for room and board and just save it you know and then if I can work time and a half during the week that would be so awesome and then that way I can get up the money faster uh, in order to get what I really want And I won't have to worry about um, I can I can make enough to wear I'm sorry y'all I'm so tired my body's hurting but I want to work so that I can make enough to Get what I get what I want and then have enough left over because I want to bang it out and then um, I'm going to be working out as well with group with the group um, of ladies so that I can lose uh, at least 30 pounds by uh, by July and then I want to I want to lose another 30 pounds by August it's by September so by the 1st of July I want to have lost 30 pounds and then by the 1st of September I want to have lose lost 30 more pounds so that will take put me right at 200 because 200 pounds I can deal with um, anything below that I look like a crackhead I'm just being honest my kids I was down to 190 one time and my kids told me that I looked like a crackhead I got down to 150 one time and they told me that I had lost too much weight um, and I didn't look right <laughs> so but yeah guys I'm gonna keep y'all updated I appreciate y'all so much. I love you already. 
and um, I am going, I'm almost home now. So I am going to um, do another video um, showing how large this uh, this U-Haul truck is on the inside and how spacious, spacious it is in the back. And then that way I can, um, I can just show y'all for some odd reason I'm I like feel under the weather I don't have COVID it's just like my body is starting to hurt and I guess it's because I was walking up and down the stairs last night because I really didn't want to take the elevator so I was just doing a lot of walking um, but yeah this thing drives so smooth and this is what it this is it, how it looks. Um, I don't know if y'all, hopefully y'all can see it. Um, but, um, and, but it's got the writing on the outside. And it's a cute little man. So I'm about to pull up at my back door. Um, so I can pull all the trash. And then I'm going to go to my front door. Oh man, I forgot to get a uh, another basket. I'll get one um, on my way to the laundry mat. That's what I'm going to do. But this thing drives so smooth. in here we'll drive around the front put the clothes in here and then take everything out so here we go I'm gonna have to turn my phone around Okay, this is the front. It has Bluetooth. Hold on, yeah. It has Bluetooth and everything. So this is the front. And that's the little thing in the middle. Um look, this is the outside of the truck. to open the back so that y'all can see it this is the back of the truck um it does not have a um a high roof but this is nice and then it has a sliding door on the side oh i do need my, my keys to my apartment and it has the sliding door to um, go ahead and get my day started so that I can hurry up and get back here and go to sleep because I am so tired. All right. Love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later.